Hi everybody, my name is Adam and this is Victor. We've been best friends for the last 20 years and I would like to share with you a bit about our relationship. From as young as I can remember, I found my bass playing really matching my personality. Mostly in the background, not really standing out and just going with the flow. I guess that's what drew me to play the bass in the first place, playing the supportive role in music that brings all instruments together. But deep inside, I felt that I had more to reveal. And I wanted to see if my bass could handle center stage. And there was only one way to find out, and that was to start playing solo. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, my playing developed and I started testing my limits. And the further I explored together with Victor, the more interesting things have become. I made my bass into a drum kit. You know, when I was a young teenager, my dream was to become a rock star. Well, it was the 90s. I even grew my hair long, and I had these silly t-shirts with the scary images and ripped jeans. It looked awful, and very little evidence of this still exists, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, I managed to reconnect even to this awkward fantasy with my new electric guitar. Thank you. Growing up, I started to look uh, even deeper. With grandparents from Iraq, Yemen, and Turkey, I decided I wanted to explore a bit more about my roots. My whole childhood is influenced by the Middle Eastern flavors, the language, the culture, the sounds, the smells, and most importantly, the food. So I discovered that I can create the most famous Arab instrument in my bass. The Arabs refer to it as the king of all instruments, Malk al-Alat, or by its more familiar name, Oud.
when I traveled in India, I caught the magical sound of the Indian music in my bass as it became my sitar or my tabla. Thank you. And I even learned to dance with my bass while playing flamenco. Muchas gracias. So some say I've taken the bass from the background to the forefront. Others fear I may have lost the essence of the bass. However, when I perform today, the most powerful experience for me is meeting my fears of standing out, of exposing myself, and thereby allowing my own personal and musical story to take center stage, just like the bass. So the last piece that I would like to play for you today is taken from one of the oldest Jewish songs written by my forefathers. And the clip you are about to watch was filmed in, in one of the most spiritual places in, to, all, to all religions in the old city of Jerusalem. And this is how, how it has sounded for the last thousand years.
Thank you. Grazie mille.